which in the case that has been running since 2018, was stinging in his remarks as he delivered judgment against the investigative journalist, Anas Arimiyao Anas. He called the journalist a blackmailer, extortionist, and corrupt, and said his style isn't investigative journalism, but investigative terrorism. Anas filed a 25 million CD defamation suit against the Member of Parliament after his investigative work, Who Watches the Watchman, that accused a journalist of extortion, blackmail, corruption, and other crimes, questioned the authenticity of his investigations. The judge seemed to agree when he told the court that, quote, I hold that the plaintiff is a blackmailer who uses blackmail to extort money from his opponents and people he does not like. What the plaintiff is doing is not investigative journalism, but investigative terrorism. Kennedy Japan took on Anas after his investigative piece, number 12, brought down the Ghana football establishment and its then powerful president, Kwesi Nyantichi. The former GFA president was in court for the ruling and beamed the smiles alongside Kennedy Japan, who did not hide his elation at the ruling. Today, the victory is for the victims of Anas. The people, the good people of this country that Anas has destroyed. All those people who were sacked from their jobs, the people who have died through Anas illegal investigation should be compensated. Compensation is not enough. He has to apologize to his victims. And today, I say to Ghanaians that we have to be bold to speak the truth in this country. The court awarded the MP a 50,000 Ghana city cost, but he says that pales into insignificance compared to what he insists is the damage that Anas has caused several people. What they have gone through, Anas's humiliation in this country, nobody, no citizen of this country should go through like that. I tell you today, the 50,000, I don't need it. I give it to him, but he should live with his conscience. And with this judgment, God is also going to give his judgment. Lord Edward, sorry. TV3 News, Accra.